Yes, I am ready. It took a bit of time after the internet went down. I don't know why it Jeez, went down. Jeez, I know. But luckily, it was just like two minutes. I was about to start panicking and phoning <laughs> Afrios, and then it came back on again. So tonight will be brought to you <laughs> by the courtesy of Corona. <laughs> right, isolated. You know it almost. So let's get started. Um, then, are we ready? Uh, just give me one second. Okay. Um, These guys are going to be itching. This uh, was the uh, semi-pro race we had to cancel due to load shedding. So these guys have had more yeah. more practice than usual. So I'm expecting it to be very <laughs> close. Uh, just while we wait, I'm just quickly putting up uh, the sponsor ad that we did. If you guys have any got uh, any gearbox issues whatsoever you can give uh, mafia gearbox a call their number will be on the screen in right now <laughs> 0861 gearbox anyway okay i think we are ready to go uh, thank you guys for joining as usual yep let's get started uh, let's get started um, Gary, I see we've had an update on OBS. I don't know if yours was also updated, but I'm seeing a lot of new logos and stuffies that I didn't see before. I so haven't been scratching around. <laughs> I just pressed start. <laughs> right, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, well, when I opened OBS, I had an update. So when I updated, I'm like, what is all these things happening now? Right, I'm going to jump but at the yeah, back. I hope it's good stuff. Um, I'm I'm going to jump on board with Remington. Are you probably on F50 Venom? I'm on F50, yep. Okay, so I'm going to be on uh, Remington. Let's see who gets to the first corner first. Fantastic. I wonder if Team CBR's got any drivers in this one. They're usually noisy in the um, chat. Oh, here we go. Jester is unfortunately not being able to race. Uh, they have got a power issue in their area. Um, him and Super Van Roy. I'm not sure who is the other CBR racer. Right, okay. Remington still finding himself in sixth place. Oh, uh, giving Yui a of a Yubi! Seven. There is chaos for Yui. He goes all the way back. He ended up sideways, turn one. Oh, that was unfortunate from him. Right, here we go. In the chat straight away. Kyle needed Mayfair in the last race. Message from Reaper. Hmm. Oh, UV's coming right back at him now, here. Well, these two are teammates, so I'm sure Venom will let him go through. But still at the front, we've got Reaper currently running away at the front. Oh, he looked like Remington clipped the wall as well, uh, losing and valuable we've seconds. Got, um, we've got the Saint here uh, backing his boy, Aster. Aster finding himself in fourth uh, position for now. A very nice um, move from Venom there. Up the inside of Remington. Very nice. Um, I'm on board with Reaper, yeah. I think Reaper is licking his lips after seeing the pro group um, with... Um, what's his name? With uh, Carl Williams. Carl Williams, yeah. In, uh, I believe also the Lycan. That's right. If, if I'm not mistaken. So he'll be lick, licking his lips. Hopefully he can uh, sort this lichen out like uh, the pro guys did. Well, he's been shown it can, can work. Be. That's the important thing. So psychologically, he knows it can. Okay, so saying just for your information, yeah, your boy Aster just went up into second place. So that is a good move from him. Very good. Uh, on his way to uh, challenge a Reaper at the front. Let's see if he can close that gap. I think I made a great decision by jumping on board with Venom. He's uh, involved in everything at the moment. Oh, and Volley <laughs> losing some traction. And Venom is up into foot. No, he isn't. Volley takes it back. Oh, Venom up the inside. Oh, that was Volley beautiful. Now. Beautiful. Nice move there, Venom. And uh, Venom is now up to fourth place. Very good move there. Let's hope these guys can stick to each other and give us nice battles. A lot of activity for the first lap though, hey? Exactly, yes. Well, one thing I can tell you about this track. The Regera does not work on it. Yeah, oh, that's a shame. Because, <laughs> yeah, the changing from left to right, it probably won't like that. Oh, no, as Remington you know, DC. Sorry, I've just got a notification in chat oh. as Remington DC. 
Yes, I can see he is out of the race. He is in seventh place. DNF. Oh my word! Oh. And Volley is back up to fourth again. Yeah, yes. Um, I don't know if there was a bit of uh, contact because now K Tech is finding himself in third place. That's very unusual, though, because uh, Remington only recently upgraded his internet, so it shouldn't be an internet issue. Uh, not necessarily, but I mean, like now with me five minutes ago, <laughs> my internet just decided. Listen here. <laughs> You've had enough for now. Yeah, that's yeah, true. Disconnect to you, so it could be one of those things. Um, Random factor, like a tractor. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I think with uh, the coronavirus going around, um, I think a lot of people is uh, having skeleton staff on on duty, um, not only for night shift but even during the day. So I think that has got a big impact on. Uh, service being provided as well right I mean, of course, my of guess. course. I'm not saying yeah. that is the fact but I mean we at my work we're already trying to prepare to work from home so and I'm sure we're not the only company uh, preparing for something like this yeah well I'm sure the systems were already under strain so it makes it impossible almost doesn't it now um, oh what okay, is so we've got Aster <laughs> right on the back of Reaper right now Still nicely bunched up. I've got. I've just been asked in chat. Here's no chance for a restart. Unfortunately, not. Um, if there was a, a serious collision, someone um, you know turned backwards or something like that, we would have. But um, not for that, unfortunately. Yeah, un unfortunately, not for uh, one person DC. Yeah. It, I think in the rules we also state it has to be more than like four, or five guys at yeah. once. The exact moment that DC before we restart. It's, it stems from the early days, doesn't it, though, the rules? Because it was so difficult yes, to yeah. keep everyone in a lobby without it bombing out. So, um, you know, yes, you yeah. just couldn't restart for everyone, unfortunately. And, and I have to say, at least for now, we have, we've had this sorted out with fiber being enrolled everywhere. KTEC running very wide, volley up the inside. I'm going to jump on Taking board. Taking third place. I'm still on board with Aster. I just caught that on the back as um, Aster ran, uh, as, as K Tech ran wide there. Okay, I'm on board with K Tech now. It looks like uh, Remington has got the bit between his teeth again, trying to open the gap. He's managing it for now. Very evenly matched, these two Ferraris at the moment. Well, isn't it the exact same Ferraris, though? Yeah, yeah, but there's different <laughs> there's different setups for the uh, FXXK. Well, and, also, and also different driving styles. I mean, we all know Volley likes to throw it into corners and drift it all out. Yeah. And um, we've got Yui now up to fifth place. Yui is going to be the one trying to make any uh, the moves now. He's looking just to get on the back of Volley there. Oh no, is it K-Tech, sorry? Yeah, just on the back of K-Tech. Yeah, K-Tech is... Uh, uh, both, all three of these guys are within catching distance of each other. And, um, well, not too far behind Yui, we've got uh, F-50 Venom as well. Uh, that's also going to be... Oh, as Yui runs wide... They're all still very close. Um, you know, one mistake and then the person behind will be on them. So no one's running away with this yes. one. Not yet, not yet. It looked like um, uh, Reaper was going to run away with it, but um, him, uh, well, Aster did a very good job of catching up to the back of him. And we've got actually Volley with the fastest lap of 205.2. Very nice. Oh, K Tech just losing it. Oh, that's a shame. K Tech running very wide. Yeah. He is gonna All the momentum well, lost. Luckily for him, there is a bit of a gap between himself and uh, and Yui. So, uh, yeah, Yui is going to have his work cut out for him if he wants to pass that. Venom uh, is very oh, close to Ven uh, Yui there. Oh! He's taking him. Contact between the two teams. Wow. On the outside. <laughs> Beautiful move. Yeah, he eventually got past so that's a very good move from him yui is currently struggling it's actually very strange that he's struggling with this car um on the the, the pro race we had um roots actually running in the same car and roots had a phenomenal race yeah I've started in this exact same car. When, so when I'm tuning now, I tend to um, 
run practice laps um, because I do find that when when you tune in the car it feels different to when you actually jump into a race um, I don't know exactly know why that is but I find it easier now just to tune by doing small little races do you know what I mean make an alteration do a couple of laps repeat oh god I get what you say oh instead of having a meetup lobby yeah well like a like a type of meetup lobby you rather do races to well, you could do it, um, a free play, you know, um, or in free play, you can do um, a test run or a test drive or something like that. And that's usually where you would tune. You would just test drive the car, make the alterations. Yes. But when you go into a race, it has a different feel for some reason. So, um, but, I, but I also think it's got to do with the, the temperature of the track as well, because every lobby that you set up has got a different type of time zone. Yes. Could be. So it makes it very difficult to actually set up a car to a certain condition and then when you load the lobby again, you've got a different condition. There de definitely feels a difference. De <laughs> well, enough for me to change my routine, if you like. Oh, yeah, it's definitely. In fact, talking about routine, um, this race on Saturday, is it for charity or is it just for fun? No, it's it's just for fun. The thing is, um, with all the sports uh, cancelled now and everyone in a hibernation at home um <laughs> it's just we thought about it you know they want, everyone is going to sit at home there's no sport to watch Ooh, all the united sorry. games is yeah no all the sports <laughs> is cancelled k tech was just going sideways then <laughs> and he shouldn't have been <laughs> um, I'm, I'm, I'm on board with the three-way battle for the lead at this stage we've got reaper running in first ace in second and volley in third place not too far behind these two guys right well i jumped so on with volley exciting battle <laughs> that's uh, happening here so yeah and also the other thing is this weekend should have been the 12 hour seabing race in real life yeah that's right so with everyone not being able to race all sports cancelled we thought you know what the guys are going to sit at home have nothing to do let's do our own 12 hour race sounds Seabring, good here we go so yeah we're just we're gonna have fun for 12 hours long awesome i think we'll definitely have to be staying party chat otherwise we'll fall asleep most probably yes yeah well i'm gonna stream my point of view um, yeah i'll do the same you know, razor lee razor lee's gonna stream his point of view and then you as well so yeah, yeah. i think uh, it's gonna be a, a, a very good because we'll we'll have different angles from the track well i, I might um, do I'll cockpit even... view actually for a change in fact, let you oh, guys, that be good. yeah, you guys watching, if you want cockpit view, just type C in the chat. All right. Yeah, no, that would be good. Just something um, different. Well, yeah, I think maybe we should limit it to cockpit view only. <laughs> well, that would be cool. Yeah, I'm <laughs> game. Throw a spanner in the works yeah. there for everyone. Um, so, yeah, that's basically the whole idea behind it. Um, Ooh, I used to get a bit sloppy over the curbs. Was you watching there in second place? Yeah, I'm on board with second place, and right. he's <laughs> getting closer to Reaper, and then comes the straight, and then Reaper pulls away. Uh, uh, K-Tech is also busy catching up to these two guys, or three guys at the at the front, and we've got Volley up the inside of Ace. No, it's not close Oh, enough. no. Oh, Volley almost losing Again, it. Again, too much curb, yeah. And the pit window has yeah, just opened, hasn't it, the first pit window? Yes, it has, it has. Is it this lap or the next lap? I it's six, I think. I think. Let me have a look. look. I'll, I'll speak to the technical staff. Hold on. Um, oh, yeah. It's se <laughs> <laughs> lap seven to ten. Oh, I was wrong. How about that? Uh, <laughs> I'm busy opening now. I don't want to know. Health. <laughs> Uh, so, pit laps is from 7 to 10. Right, okay, cool. I did confirm that earlier, but nice to hear it. <laughs> I, had to chat, oh, I had to type it in my chat the other night. Ace has managed to stay with Reaper, but Volley seems to be struggling to match the pace. Oh, Aster, Aster gets very close. Well, he loses a bit of his back end uh, in the final corner. 
He gets close enough to go for the overtake and then comes the straight and Reaper is just gone. What car is Ace to in? Uh, he is in the Bagani Zonda. I'm not sure which one. Oh, he's got it moving. <laughs> yeah, they've all, it's a very good car though. Yeah, must be the BC. I think that's the only one that's allowed. Oh, he's a bit naughty over the curb. No volley. Oh, avoided the. Almost did an iceberg. <laughs> <laughs> Eating the uh, yeah. eating the tile. Wall. Yeah, almost. Yeah. Talking about Whoa. icebergs, Whoa. I think I've got some special things in my chat now. They look like bubbles, or do I have to create them? Channel points. Oh, the bubbles of the—that's the channel. That's the ice cubes that I have. Ooh. So, um, yeah, you can also highlight to, to a message now in your chat and all those things. There we go. Some of the perks when you hit. Um, uh, affiliation so as well. There you go, CBR boys. Abuse that. It's for free. <laughs> Little icon buffet. Oh, not really for free. Oh, is it's, it not? Uh, you need to watch a certain amount of uh, time before you get some oh. uh, bubbles, as they call it now, or points. Um, so the more you watch your channel, the more, in my case, more cubes you get, in your case, oh. more bubbles you get. Oh, that's cool. So, um, if if I watch or if other people watch, how does that work? Whoa! Hold on. No, if hold other people watch. Volley almost making a move on the inside of Aster there. He went really I'm wide. I'm on board with Yui here for a uh, for a moment uh, at the back, watching him go through the corners. Oh, he's going. Volley on the inside. Venom. A little clip there with Aster. Aster's gone wide because of that. Oh dear. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I'm on board now with Volley now as he is in second place and setting his eyes on uh, on Reaper at the front. I'm going to jump on board with Reaper. Okay. We're almost halfway K through the first pit window now. Gatek would want these guys to, to battle it out so he can catch up. He is almost within striking distance from from Aster, so... Uh, it's the bit of time he should be able to catch up to the back of these guys if they fight it out a bit more. But this fight between Volley and Aster has allowed Reaper to pull away again. Yeah, it has. He's got a nice lead there. And who is that behind Aster? The K-Tech, isn't it? Right? They're all very close. Anything can happen here. Yeah. Definitely. And it's also just a small gap back towards um, Venom and Yui. But if those two can get the the teeth down, they could definitely catch up to these uh, bunch here at the front. Absolutely. Oh, Aster's right on the back of Volley here. Well, Reaper is definitely enjoying this now. He's got a bit of freedom. He doesn't need to worry about who's behind him. Um, I want to see what exactly the gap is. It is. Oh, Aster now up to second again. Nice and easy. Oh, but he does lose out on the yeah, brakes. Well, that's, that's one thing about the FXXK is it doesn't have straight line speed. No, no. It's got, it's got the speed in and out of the corner, but not on the straights. Oh, here we go. Uh, Aster almost dive bomb Reaper. Right, I missed that. But we can see Aster's definitely got the pace. Yeah, well, he just if he can uh, get clear of uh, Volley, he can definitely get back up to Reaper. It's a 2.3 second gap at this stage. Yeah. Whoa. Are we getting, we're getting to uh, well to the start finish line again. we after. But the Aster's going to the pits. Okay, so Aster in the pits. Yeah. So Volley needs to make this work if he wants to. Um, get that second place i believe um gatex also in the pits is he going venom in? and yui as well everyone into the pits except for volley and reaper yeah so as you say if volley can string a good lap together here um he can find himself clear well he can stay out for two more laps well this lap and the next lap end of next lap he needs oh of to course play. yeah so if he can string a couple of good laps in now, he can definitely get out in front of... Uh, well, you can see he's actually going for it because he's caught up to Reaper. That's an unexpected surprise. 
Well, he's just put in a lap of a 205.0. Uh, I saw that still. And the gap is now 2.3, so. So, Volley's the hottest man out there, yeah. For now, yes, definitely. A Reaper said he, w he was uh, he were able to do 204, so if he were able to do 204, he needs to do them now so he can increase his gap again. Yeah, build himself uh, a nice little volume, cushion. Well, you can actually see the difference as soon as they hit the straight because the gap was 2.3 uh, seconds as they hit the, the back straight and at the end of the back straight, that gap was 3.2 seconds. Jeez. So that's a basic second that Reaper gains Gain just, just on, on, on that on straight. straight. Jeez, yeah. That is a phenomenal <laughs> stretch that... Yeah, you just watch him disappear. Mm. Right, so here we go. Reaper's matching uh, Volley's times. It, we're only talking a couple of tenths. Well, it's now back to 2.3 seconds. So, yes. Right, right, Volley's going in. Volley goes into the pit. So, okay, I'm going to jump on board with with Kate. Oh, what happened with with Aster? Because uh, Katek is now ahead of Aster. Well, I'm going to stay but on I with Volley because I want to see where he comes out. Well, I'm going to jump on board with Katek and see where uh, Katek comes out, uh, or well, where Volley comes out in in between Aster and Katek, or is he going to be in front of Katek? Right, here we go. Behind Aster, let's see <laughs> who had the best previous lap. Okay, so K Tech is coming around the final corner. Oh, now. this pit exit is so slow. Yeah, that is the worst of the entire track. And it's not like you get a. Oh, no. He's in the clear. Gone. Volley is long gone. Right, so something's gone wrong somewhere. Definitely, because K Tech and Aster lost a lot of time. Right, so this time round, Volley should be uh, arriving to turn one with Reaper exiting the pits. Well, that's what we're going to have to look for. I'm going to jump on board with Reaper now. Well, he's got a big gap. Something definitely happened. Well, it's a four second gap now between the Volley and uh, Kaitik. It's a Reaper coming around the final, well, second last corner, heading straight into the pit. I wonder if um, <coughs> if if uh, Aster didn't misjudge the entry of the pit. Very possible. Yeah, if you're going too hot, you can clip the wall. He's lost time Definitely, somewhere. Yeah. I mean, four seconds is it's a big incident. Right, so here we go. Well, he's coming around now. All eyes on Reaper. Volley's coming in to start, finish straight. The Reaper is exiting the pit now. Right. It's a very slow exit. Painfully oh. slow. Here we go. Right, so he wants to accelerate as quick as possible. Volley is right there. He's going to be slow going into the first turn. Yeah, he's going as tight as possible. And, that, and the Reaper still got that position for now. Yeah, but the momentum is still with Volley. You know, he's got to warm up those tyres. Yeah. So Volley could actually... Uh, make a move before he even realizes oh, the gap is less than two seconds now right and these two are out on their own yep and uh oh reaper there a bit too much gas I see Aster has fall back even further now.
Aister needs to uh, to settle down again. Maybe his nerves got to him, but he needs to settle down now. Yeah, got to get back into the rhythm. Yes. This straight will help him remember. <laughs> Hey, how do you set it up? You know when guys um, follow the channel when it comes up on the stream, how do you do that? Uh, you need to uh, do that through... Um, I used stream Streamlabs for that. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, so it's just a website that you go through to. And they've got a bunch of nice stuff that you set up when yeah, well, it's you nice. guys follow you and so on. I'd like to be yes. able to thank the guys because they usually just get email notifications. Well, you need to... Well, okay. Uh, if, as soon as you set that up, you'll get notifications in your chat as well. Right, okay. Yeah, so you can thank them immediately on stream, even though they get a... Uh, you get a notification on your screen. You get one on your chat as well. Oh, volley! Very nice through the first turn there. Made up a lot of yeah, ground. He's definitely catching up, and we've got K Tech now with the Fozlap, two hundred four point eight. So K Tech's also on the move. Now. Yeah, and he's two seconds from Aster, so he's all on his own in third. He'd be thinking about catching these two, and we're not at the halfway marker yet, so it's very doable. Oh, Reaper using a lot of breaks. Oh, again, no. Okay, oh, Tech running very wide. We're going to come to the back straight now. We're going to see this like and just disappear. Disappear, from yeah, to the tune of a second. <laughs> but it is a beautiful car. It definitely is. You can actually visibly see the gap increase. Yeah. Hey, I, I don't know if you watch the stream back for the pro guys, but it seems much darker than what it actually is. You know, where we're watching now, it's not so bad, but on the stream, um, it, it seems much darker. Um, okay, now I have to actually check that. Um, yeah, that is actually a difficult one. Yeah. No, the night races makes it a bit difficult to to set up a exact stream. Yeah, we have got an intense race for sure. This one's going to go right down to the line. I'm going to jump on board with uh, Ace there. I want to see if he can get back to the back of k -Tech. I mean, even if Volley manages to uh, get himself into P1, Reaper is comfortable in the knowledge that every time the straight comes, he's got that extra pace. Um, <laughs> he is. It's going to be a real yo-yo race. And I don't mean like yo-yo. I mean like yo-yo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, volley! But like cheeky. you say, uh, they'd like it on the straight. I, th I wonder if um, if uh, a reaper would do a test and drop behind uh, a volley and check on the start finish straight, if he can actually uh, get past him before the the start finish line. If he makes a move, so yeah, that's a yeah. good question. Although, you know, that Pagani was hanging with the Lycan. Um, it had all the pace, but very, very slow going into the braking area. So it, it seems like a trade-off. Well, um, well, you're talking about Aston now. Well, yeah. at, at this stage, Aston has got a lot of work to to catch up to the f uh, front two. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm wondering between um, Volley and Reaper. If they had to drag it out from the final corner to the start finish line will the lichen actually have the legs to make it work yeah from a dead stop um yeah in fact didn't we have a run down to the line in the pro race um no no, mm, Willi no williams wasn't. was on his own yeah 
Yeah. Great drive. Absolutely great drive. I mean, it's because of guys like that that others feel confident to try oh, different no. cars. Uh oh. Who was it? UV. Yui. I can't believe it. Oh, that is unfortunate. Well, it's probably going to show up in the chat now. It might explain. <laughs> that looks like another DC. <laughs> Well, at least these guys are getting a bit of points. Ezekiel, how are you doing, man? Thanks for joining. Oh, well, Reaper is definitely back into his rhythm now because he's pulling a gap. Oh, and Volley struggling through those um, curves. But KTEC doesn't seem to be able to gain any ground on these two. All the, oh, that was a, a big cut there by Wally. <laughs> you should be careful. <laughs> he, he just ignored the corner completely. He was just like, nope, going straight. <laughs> yeah, he needs to be careful of that. He doesn't want to be sighted and uh, caught on camera. Into the, uh, into the steward's office afterwards. Um, but this has happened before and it almost, well, it basically cost the guy first place. Yeah, true. And uh, so... <laughs> this this series, oh, again, big cut. That was all four wheels. Well, uh, uh, I don't, no, we haven't really had any issues in this series. Uh, I know we had in the previous series, the end of last year, we had a guy uh, in at Monza got, uh, cutting the corners. Oof. And yeah, he was. Uh, well, there was actually a couple of guys, and they were. Down oh, the that last season. chicane going onto the straight. Yes, yeah. and uh, so yeah, after that, um, we haven't had real issues with guys really cutting the corners. We've had guys running a bit wide, putting two wheels on the outside of the curb. Um, no, the, but not the guys in the group are fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, the guys are trying to race team, so yeah. Yeah. Anything That's less is a waste of time. Thing. Yeah, for sure. Okay, so we've got Ace of going into the pits now. Ooh, an early one. Yeah. I think last lap is lap 16, though. Ooh, bit too did early. Did Volley make a mistake? I see. Yeah, he like did. 2.2 seconds behind Reaper now. It's just, what it is, is he's is, is not been able to keep it neat and tidy. Little mistakes. I think he's pushing a bit too hard. And Reaper, oh, Reaper's doing yeah. a fantastic job keeping it nice and tidy. And he's not on the brakes as much as he was when he first came out of the pit. So it, the car's obviously feeling a lot more comfortable now. Lighter on fuel. Oh, yes. Yeah, definitely. Yui, how are you doing, man? Oh, dude, it's a bummer that you DC'd out of the race. Uh, that's not yeah, oh, geez, and, man. Uh, Remington DCing out of the race. Sorry to hear that, man. You had a good battle with your teammate at one stage. <laughs> well, what happened on the first turn? I saw you got sideways there. Did somebody uh, clip you or were you just a bit too keen? Yeah, I think there was a bit of contact between Yui and, and uh, Remington into the first corner that I picked up. But it wasn't a very bad. I think it was just overcorrecting from Yui from what I've seen. I'm not sure exactly how it could have felt in the car. But right. Huey, how's your thoughts about uh, that first corner? I saw a 204 fastest lap. I don't know who it was, though. Could have been K-Tech. Okay, so you were saying he didn't DC. He had to put in real-life brakes to prevent skid marks. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Classic. <laughs> you take those children to the swimming pool, man. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> it's all those strange foods you're eating, man. <laughs> he's saying his tummy is messed up. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> it looks like... Uh, 
the gap between K Tech and Volley is staying the same. Yeah, but Volley is just for the first time in about five or six laps, he's got that sequence of corners perfect. Okay, oh, that's good. Yeah. That's good. I wonder if there's not someone maybe uh, he talks with him saying, hey, listen, yeah, the guys are watching the stream and they're, they're catching <laughs> you. <laughs> Snip it down. <laughs> But I see he's busy closing the gap to Reaper in the, at the front again. He is, he's making moves. It's now just under two seconds. And then they hit the back straight and then gone is, uh, <laughs> is Reaper again. We've got uh, Venom here in fifth place. He is just, uh, he's probably thinking the same as what I was thinking two nights ago. Just finish the race. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> just get to that finishing line yeah <laughs> that was the 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 hardest race i've ever driven is just to get to the finish line <laughs> oh my word that was long you're a better person <laughs> for it now definitely <laughs> i can tell you this if we had to do the after cars again i will not take the regera <laughs> There you go, it's a valuable lesson right there. Most of us knew it, but anyway. <laughs> you know what? At some tracks, it really did work. Um, like um, at um, Nürburgring, it wasn't too bad. It's just I didn't have, I had a lack of practice there. Yeah. But it, uh, the car wasn't too bad there. And then Silverstone, uh, if we had to do Silverstone in the dry, that car would have been brilliant for that track yeah perfect top three guys have just pitted now and they're both they're all leaving as well here we I'm go i'm on board with venom still and then yeah um i knew catalonia wasn't gonna be very strong a bit too technical um yeah definitely uh, and and then this track i i had better hopes and it was the, the car was actually very strong in the first sector um through the, the the twisty bit oh and ace the, almost losing it on the exit of of the final corner uh but yeah like i said through the twisty bits i could actually stick with with williams or carl mm. williams it's got plenty of grunt hit, yeah yeah uh, and then the minute you hit the the back straight it was so slow out of the corner that by the time it actually reached a speed that the other guys actually took advantage of it oh right and of course those yes, painful starts it must kill you trying to get that thing off the line <laughs> <laughs> well you know what um, from tests that we've done at um at silverstone uh between me and my and 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 Rootster, i actually uh, by the first sector of the first lap i lost three to four seconds Jeez. just from the start just yeah the start oh. <laughs> but after that if if, if, the, if the track is flowing that car can be very good around the track yeah but he's got he's got to be able to make up those four seconds though that's its problem well it it, it does uh well at certain tracks it really does make up the, the time mm. uh but yeah at kota there's just there was just no way because the first corner is such a slow corner and we've got black screen. we've got a black Please, screen no Ooh, who on. is it no um venom so it's remington uv and venom out now flipping egg we only started oh, with seven guys point. due to electrical problems oh yeah freaking hell can you believe it yeah um so you were saying in chat that he couldn't get the Ferrari plant to plant the power down. Oh my man, that is such a bummer. And it was actually supposed to be such a good car around this track. It, it, yeah, it's a nice feeling car, the 599 Evolution. It, you know, it's really got that race feel. What, just to conclude yes. what you were saying, the Regera. One thing I will say from driving it myself, you're not conscious of its weight. It doesn't feel like a heavy car. It's just, no, it it's doesn't. literally, you, you've got to go with the gear. That's it. There's, there's, there's nothing you can yeah. do about it, you know. Um, 
and and like I said, with with a track with flowing corners, yeah, the car is fantastic. I mean, if there's no stop go corners, uh, then the car is brilliant to use. Yeah, um, like on Kota, there's just too many slow corners that where you need to have the speed out of the corners or an endurance no event maybe you know because it's quite easy to drive so if you're doing a 12 hour event for example um, it would be easy to do that well you know what if, 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 if there's no pit stops involved and the guys need to go according to what the car can do um, the Regera will be brilliant because that car can go very long on a tank of petrol and the tires can last for very long oh, it's also so economical. yes in that oh. case um, so, so in that case, yes, the car will definitely uh, work for that. But it also depending on what track. Yeah. Because on Kota, last uh, when, when we did the race the other night, you were losing five seconds a lap to that, the top guys. That's kind of cool. Also, having that um, variation between the cars. Like for example, the Ferrari is probably one of the favourites for most tracks, but it's got a tiny fuel tank so you put the yes. regera against a ferrari in an endurance event and the regera is going to kick it left right and center well ezekiel is saying you know escom really messing up uh, the guys race it yeah races well you know what the, the problem was it's not really uh escom tonight okay we had we have two guys living in i believe it's secunda and they have got um power issues that the guys are busy working on so we understand those two guys not being able to make it and we will definitely work out something to compensate them well there is actually something in place to compensate them but there's so many guys that didn't pitch up tonight just due to they didn't pitch up we, we've got no idea why not so um yeah i won't uh, blame it on escom entirely tonight um but yeah it, it definitely uh, as soon as you um postpone a race it already puts guys in a bit of a negative way um but i spent handing out free happen. massage vouchers so they're going to be more than happy <laughs> yeah no. well uh we've got yui saying here uh, the evo strong point is when uh when you power out of the corner normally grips better on axle than d cell huh? yeah Oh, so it's his fault for making the rear bump <laughs> too hard. Okay, yes. Well, Ezekiel, last week with the load chilling, we did uh, postpone the race. And we've postponed it to tonight. And yeah, yeah. the guys... I, I'm, I'm not sure, maybe they're a bit confused because it's on a Wednesday night. Um, yeah, unfortunately, it was the only time we could fit it in. Because we, we, we have such yeah. a calendar of events already coming up. We didn't want to leave it past this weekend because of things that are still coming. So Wednesday just yeah. seemed to fit. Yeah. Unfortunate about and the, the substation. The, the final, yeah, the, the the final is next week, so it's difficult to to put a ra bring a race in back in if there's a final the week <laughs> the week after. Yeah. So you can't have this race actually after the final. That will be a bit pointless. And talking about the final, it is at an absolute doozy, Mugello GP. I can't think of a better racetrack to go for for a final. It's beautiful, it's fast, um, it's technically very difficult through the twisty bits. Um, I'm looking forward to that one. Well, you know what? I've uh, done uh, two or three laps around the track and uh, I'm feeling a bit more confident in uh, Mugello uh, because it's, it's really it's a flowing track with a lot of I call it third gear corners and that is where the Regera is actually standing out because it's that perfect ratio in its one gear where it works through the corners. Yeah, you're going to so, kick ass on the straights. <laughs> yes, well, well, we've already tested. I'm almost getting 320 now on the main straight. Right, so back by popular demand, I'm on board with Volley and Reaper to watch the battle at the front one too, and they are still chipping at each other. But now the difference is we've only got eight laps remaining. Volley needs to make a move and make it fast. <laughs> and if one of them makes a huge mistake, uh, KTEC is going to be there picking up pieces. It's four seconds between uh, second and third. Uh, but yeah. Uh, 
Ezekiel asking you a favorite car for Mugello. Um, Ezekiel, it's going to be very difficult. The, the Ferrari might be okay. The FXXK, uh, it's going to lack on the, on the straights, or well, on the very long straight. It's going to fall down a bit. It will be okay through the, the long corners. Um, I, I think the um, the Ferrari, the McLaren, um, and also the Lamborghini. I think they will be three particularly strong cars. Um, I, yeah. I, w I would uh, wager a bet. I could make the Vulcan quicker on Mugello as well, but I don't know if we're going to see quick Vulcans going around there. Um, but yeah, I think those three definitely. Um, well, in, in in the pro group, we have got uh, Skomultoli in in the Vulcan. Yeah. Um, he's definitely ha I have that he, he's got that Vulcan working for him so yeah but Mugello is going to be a very difficult track yeah. uh, to say who's going to be the fastest car because oh man sorry I've got F50 in the chat here first ever first time he's ever DC'd so sorry man yes like oh. it, man that is so unfortunate yeah and you had um, such a good start I was with you on board I don't know if you'll get to see it but you had a great start man yeah, he definitely had. He was making up positions and then he started going backwards. <laughs> but yeah, it was definitely, well, unfortunate for the DC there. And uh, like they say, there is a first time for everything. I remember my first DC from a race. I re even remember my first time my controller switched off during a race. It sucks every time. <sighs> I, mean, I even remember the first time I beat Gary on track. <laughs> it never happened. He's lying. He's lying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, that's probably one of my most iconic uh, days. <laughs> <laughs> You'll never let me forget guys. that, will you? <laughs> no, I can't. Monza. But... But you know what? We had a proper race that day. And um, I think we... we it, 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 okay, it was a public lobby, endurance lobby. And we actually got overall SA top three spots in that race. Yeah, it was a good race. And uh, it was a very good race. And uh, yeah, I enjoyed it, uh, even though I was put under so much pressure. Yeah, it some crazy turbocharged BMW that was destroying <laughs> me on the straights. <laughs> beep, beep. <laughs> <laughs> And then came the corners and that Jaguar was just set up perfectly. Yeah, she's sweaty. <laughs> oh, man, that was good days. <laughs> well, these guys, I'm just looking back now. Volley's going around turn one and um, third and fourth can see them. I mean, there is still opportunity, but an outside yeah. chance. It's all on volley, really, because reaper seems to be maintaining the gap and um as it's been pointed out in chat as well volley is taking liberties with one or two of these corners so um yes. you know he, he really needs to clean it up and uh, get his head down now yeah well that's what he needs to do so if if guys were in chat with him um let him know that you are <laughs> checking him again <laughs> like earlier because when we mentioned it earlier, <laughs> the next minute you saw he was doing clean laps and going through the corners. Well, <laughs> unfortunately, he's just chosen the wrong time to do the biggest cut of the entire race. <laughs> he just oh went the, the entire car. But anyway. Yeah. yeah, because I could see his gap going uh, from, from what I think was two seconds down to under a second <laughs> in that previous corner yeah. before the long straight so yeah that's definitely well they getting geared uh, gearing up to go for their final pits now i'm gonna give reaper some love we've al always been set behind him for most of the race so let's see how it's well i'm on board with reaper i'm gonna drop back to to Aster again i just saw he put the fastest lap in of the race uh, it was a 204, I think, 0.6, if I remember correctly. So, yeah, uh, he's definitely trying to move up again. He will be definitely be disappointed with his race so far because at the beginning he was battling it out for, for first position and then it just went 
backwards for him. Yeah. <clears throat> but he's, he's doing a great job here. I'm watching um, Reaper drive and he looks really smooth. Carl did the other night as well, you know. Oh, it seems that this the, the car is perfectly handled for, for Kota. Oh, I it with a 204.7 fastest lap. Five seconds off second place, though, volley. A volley is 0 0.5 seconds off. And aced it is five seconds off uh, K Tech, yeah? Oh, from K Tech, is he? Yes, that's right. Yes. yes that's right. Okay, so the last pit window and is lap 21 to 23. So everyone yeah, so needs to go in this lap. Getting, yes. I'm on board with Volley now. Reaper is doing a very good job, I must say. So, uh, Gary, for this weekend Sebring race, yes. have you figured out what car you're going to use yet? I'm going to use the Dodge Viper. Are you going to use the Viper? Yeah, better on tyres and fuel. Okay, interesting. Oh, but, but how is the, the pits going to work, by the way, for the endurance? Well, it's going to be a two-hour It's going to be a two hour race. And uh, if you can make the car last for two hours, you don't need to pit. So if the car is more economical, it will count? Basically, yes. Okay, cool. Okay. Yes, so yeah, that's what we're aiming for. And volley right on the back of Reaper here, uh, going into the pits like in his boot. Right oh, on the back. Uh, there was a collision in there. It looks like. I'm watching it from the Hollywood cameras. It looks really dramatic. Yeah, definitely. Okay, Reaper is... Oh, another collision. But Reaper is ahead of volley for now. Hope he doesn't lose too much time through that. Here we go, and then this is going to be the final run down to the line. Mm, four laps. So you got you guys at home, you're going to call this one. Who's going to win? Is Reaper going to take it all the way to the finish line, or do you think Volley's got something in the, up his sleeve? They are a lot closer now. Oh, did you see that? Volley again. Big cut. I, I could even see that from the Hollywood cameras. I'm going to have to jump on board. <laughs> again? It was cheeky. It was very cheeky. Yeah, no, that will definitely, he will definitely be chatted with after the race. I'm going to stay on board just so that we can see anything in real time. No, 100%. I'm still on the Hollywood cams. I'm going to jump on board with uh with reaper in first place ezekiel saying yeah volley is gonna fight hard and uh, so Kate Saint is still behind aced it even though he is now seven seconds behind k tech yeah and if k tech's, k -Tech's got anything in his locker yeah well uh like we say there's probably gonna be an investigation into volley's uh um cake eating maneuvers yeah that's also true. Um, uh, Gatek needs to stay close so he can uh, benefit if there's any any issues. He is close enough to make a move if he can uh, put a sequence of laps together. Like I say, let's see what Gatek's got in his locker. Right on Reaper. Oh, there was contact. Oh, there was contact. Whoa. And then in the straights. You could see the body right language. The <laughs> <of 
Oh, again. Mm. I, I wonder if this could, TV. It could throw Reaper's um, concentration off a little bit. Because Volley does have to make a move. Oh! I don't know if Ezekiel's <laughs> playing the drinking game tonight, but I've probably made him sloshed. Come on, <laughs> Volley. He's asking, where are the stewards? Well, the stewards are busy watching the race. <laughs> don't you worry about it. I wonder if they'll put something like that in the new uh, Forza, like a black flag situation, you know, where you can actually issue guys with penalties live. That would be cool. Oh, yeah, that would be. They really need to give the spectators uh, or the lobby host at least more... Um, control? Con yes, thank you. Control over the race. Um especially like in these events where someone is uh, cutting the corner k-tech is very get close a black flag or whatever in that case uh, might be that would be actually pretty awesome if they can definitely introduce something like that there we go reaper race win from start to finish yes it, it's looking that way and he certainly deserves it my goodness it cannot be easy Ezekiel driving that thing. <laughs> Reaper slipping, yeah. Um, I don't think Reaper is slipping. It's just uh, he's trying to keep his lap times clean and. Uh, Look how close these top three are, though, together. I mean, they can make a move in any one of these laps. Well, the contact between Reaper and Volley has definitely slowed Volley down, and uh, he's now within. <laughs> well, Ezekiel saying now, feeling volley. So yeah, that could be something. Like I said earlier, I think as soon as they hit the straights, uh, that lichen is just going to be gone. Mm. I'm going to jump on board with K-Tech for a while as he's uh, catching up to the back of volley for now. Well, he was. He's, uh, well, he's only two seconds away from volley now. 1.9 seconds, so it's definitely getting closer between the top three. I think that straight can't come quick enough for Reaper here. Volley is closing at a dramatic rate. He's pulling away from well, KTEX, uh, so it's definitely... Oh, again with that curb. Well, in that one, se or in that twisty sec uh, section, he just took out a second out of KTEX. So, uh, I don't know if that could have been from... Uh, <laughs> No, he, I could see it was a combination of two things because he was on the move. I could see that, and then through that fast left hander, he takes the, the whole car is off the road basically. Yeah, we'll definitely have a chat with him afterwards and then have a, a short investigation as well. Mm. Um, Venom, well, the, the penalty system, um, like you say, the, you can get disqualified after a certain amount of penalties. Yeah. Um, but you can disable that so the penalty just keeps on counting and no uh, disqualification oh I see so there is that option that you can use um, we have also discussed the, the, the penalty system uh, for the league and so on oh of the, course the yes. last time yeah, the last time we, we tried using it well we we implemented in the the SSR series and it was just too unstable it was very and, glitchy um, wasn't it yeah very yes and apparently they still have worked on it and sorted out some glitches well yeah I can tell so, you it is it's I don't know if you guys watching if you go into the regulations lobby online often I, I like to go in there and um, I can say they have sorted it out I'm not there used yeah. to be a lot of silly things you used to get penalties when you're not doing anything or near anyone all of that's gone um, and also some of the collision penalties have sort of you know they've worked it out um, the bottom line is if you don't get into silly situations you're perfectly fine you know um, some of the track cutting penalties can be a bit harsh especially in areas where you can just make a mistake um, you yeah. know, uh, those, they still need to refine, but the actual physics of it work quite well. So, well, we will probably look into a, a trying to, to implement it again. 
yeah. in, uh, in either the track day series or the SSR. Yeah, I think um, that's a good move. Before, yeah, before rolling it out to the, the, the main league. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's just a thought. Uh, so we will be discussing that in future as well to, yeah, to well, see if we can use it again. Throw it out to the guys in the chat. What do they think? They're the ones that are going to be using it. Um, so yeah. Are, are they? Are you guys keen um, to see the penalty system used? Um, because it, you know, it has progressed, and they are using it in the Forza RC now. So it's not embarrassing, you know. Otherwise, they wouldn't use it at the highest level. So, yeah. What do you think? Yeah, that would be good to, to get you guys' feedback as well. Yeah. <laughs> Venom saying it's better than the ones from GT Sport. <laughs> yeah. That's good to know. Well, I can tell you guys this, that uh, I think the, the game that's got the penalty system worked out brilliantly. Oh, sorry, but Reaper made a mistake there. Volley. I'm looking oh. at... Uh, a reaper back in front again <laughs> he used that power jeez yeah but he ran deep <laughs> final lap <laughs> yeah well i'm getting support for the penalty system here in the chat yeah do you agree um, with it but yeah, i was busy saying the the game that's definitely w uh, got the the penalty system worked out brilliantly is project cars 2. it's accurate is it yeah, uh, that game is definitely, it's worked out brilliantly. Well, we definitely need something like that. Um, uh, obviously, the, the objective of any penalty system is just to have perfect racing. Um, so, it's, yes. you know, really, you don't want to notice the penalty system. You know, it, it's just something that should be there, but never really used. Um, yeah. And it's just to, to motivate clean and fair racing. I think it's a, I think it's a good yeah. idea. It's a good way for... It's a fair and even way for everyone to, to deal with races, I think. Yeah. No, definitely. Like I said, we'll definitely have a chat again and, um, with, uh, with Goofster about uh, implementing it again into yeah. the SSR series. That's a good idea um, for those boys in SSR. And also and track then days. And also track days from sully um yeah. so yeah if, if if we can get it working there and we can see it's fair and and positive then it will definitely well uh venom um we have definitely spoken about it as soon as the uh, the new assetto corsa game drops on the xbox we will be getting it and we will have a league on it uh that i can promise you um it's definitely it's a game that everyone has been waiting for um, so yeah, that will definitely that's in the plans, and we are working on it. And final corner, that, oh, to the final corner, and oh, volley! That was a big crash. Of Reaper. Yeah, at least Reaper <laughs> maintaining first place. Well done, Reaper. Ooh, volley, Jeez. second place, and then K Tech coming over the line. Very third. close third, and then Ace coming around the final corner and goes over the line in fourth place well that, well done that was actually guys. a classic race from start to finish there yeah definitely we we had close racing even though we, there was only seven guys that started yeah and four finishing it was three dcs race. yeah well can i do the rundown quickly definitely you go for it okay so um our winner was reaper in first position again in the lycan hypersport so that's a win in pro and now a win in semi-pro so that lycan's got something under the bonnet um volley in second k tech in third aster in fourth and then in fifth the first of our dcs was f50 venom and then it was uv and then uh, remington very sad to see that but still great racing yes definitely yeah, I think these guys can uh, give themselves a pat on the back. It was very good racing. Um, like I said, there's definitely going to be uh, a look at some of the incidents. And uh, then we'll, we'll sort that out with the semi-pro guys. Uh, but yeah, yeah, I think overall we had a very good, uh, exciting race. And thanks for tuning in, guys. And we'll uh, catch yeah. you. When is the next one? Well, it'll be at the weekend well, for the 12-hour. Uh, Yes, this weekend is the 12-hour race uh, that we are doing around Sebring in the GT3 cars. 
you guys are more than welcome to join if we yeah. are enough guys we'll even open up two lobbies uh to to to, to have a good scrap around uh, sebring but it's going to be 12 hours split into two hour sections and uh, 15 minute breaks between the the two hour sessions uh, it's going to be exciting racing uh, guys are looking forward to it and we'll be joined by razor lee as well yeah it should be good fun looking forward to it definitely yeah thank you